Hello, this is Brad Harvey with Harvey Investment Management. And today we're going to talk about is your broker or agent or advisor actually putting your interests first? Now, this has to do with what we call standards of care. What are standards of care? Well, if you go to the doctor, their standard of care is do no harm. If you come to a financial person, they should follow the same basic standard of care, and that is do no harm. But unfortunately, it can be very, very confusing because the standards of care that are actually required change based on the licensing and the nature of the relationship that a client has with their stockbroker, their financial broker, their insurance agent, or their financial advisor. So when you talk about the different standards of care, it really starts with suitability. Now, suitability has been revised. It goes into effect next year as a new standard called the best interest rule. And we're gonna talk about that in just a little bit. But suitability basically says that no matter what products a salesperson or a stockbroker or insurance agent bring to you, it must be suitable for you. Unfortunately, that doesn't really rank those products or investment strategies based on the client interest. So if you were to buy mutual fund ABC versus mutual fund XYZ, if mutual fund XYZ pays a 10% commission to the broker or agent and ABC only pays 5%, they may both be suitable, but the fact that they would choose the product that pays them a higher commission creates a conflict of interest. And we're gonna talk about that. But if it's just suitability, or just best interest rule, which has to do with a brokerage or sales relationship, which really encompasses the overwhelming majority of all insurance products, unless they're fee-based or fiduciary sold, and it's the vast majority of traditional mutual fund products, they're all gonna fall under this suitability standard. And the new best interest standard does not actually say that they have to put you, the client, above their own corporate interests. In fact, what it says technically is that the companies, the broker dealers cannot put their corporate interests above that of the client. And that's not the same as putting your interests first, which is the fiduciary standard. The fiduciary standard is a legal standard that says that when you're in an advisory relationship, the advisor must put their client interest first and they have an ongoing duty to maintain what is right for that client. Doesn't mean their portfolios always do well, doesn't mean they always go up, but they have a duty to take a look at those things from time to time. So I talked a little bit about conflict of interest. If the broker agent gets paid 10% for one option versus 5% for another, well, that's a conflict of interest because they're being paid more for one product versus another that may really have the same set of goals. Well, ultimately, the client is the one that pays for that conflict. They're the ones that perhaps are gonna pay a higher commission. So when you're talking to your agent or your stockbroker, ask those questions. Well, how much are you being paid? How much is your firm being paid? And how much am I paying as a client if I were to buy this investment versus that investment or this insurance policy versus that insurance policy? Or is it Western uh, Mutual Financial for your, inv your insurance? Or is it Transamerica? Or is it Hartford? Or is it some other company that's going to get you the best deal? Keep in mind, those agents, the brokers, their standard of care is, is this just suitable for you? Is that mutual fund okay for you? Doesn't mean it's the best one for you. Okay, so that's the difference with suitability or best interests and the fiduciary rule, which is actually best interest. And I'm sorry about all these semantics, but it is very, very important. So why is this important? Follow the money, know what you're paying, know who you're paying it to and how much and how often. And are there alternatives where we may be able to squeeze those costs a little bit? Why is that important? Because if we can reduce your costs of that investment, that's extra return in your pocket. So know what you're paying by the penny. So this is Brad Harvey with Harvey Investment Management talking to you today about is your broker, agent or advisor actually operating in your best interest? If you have any questions, let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Please check out our website for more information and don't forget to click the subscribe button.